How's it guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, I got myself some hub centric wheel spaces. Um, so these are the 15 mil um, wheel spaces. I'm intending to use them in the front, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be test fitting them. So I'm going to take off um, the wheels on one side. So I think I'm going to do the left side. And then we're going to fit these 15 mils both at the front and at the back. So the reason why I just bought one set is because I want to, to see what the fitment is going to look like. So um, what that's going to determine is if I'm going to be buying a 10 mil set or a 20 mil set for the next set that I'm buying. So um, hopefully it's gonna look good hopefully we get good results and then yeah i i hope you enjoy the video so um the first thing that i'm gonna do now is we'll jack the car up and then uh, we'll take out those oil oh, sorry those old wheel spaces so once we take out the old wheels and the old wheel spaces we're gonna put the hub centric one so you want to use hub centric wheel spaces because what that does is it centers your wheel to the hub. So unlike the other flat wheel spaces, you end up having some vibrations and issues. So finally got the funds to get the hub centric set and I'm very excited. So yeah, let's get to it. Look at that, the polo. Still have a lot of work to do in that car, but I'll update you soon. Anyway, back to this bad boy. So I'm, I'm going to give you pics and I'm going to show you what the fitment looks like now. And then uh, we'll see how it looks afterwards. So this is the current setup. I believe at the back I have like a 12, 12 or 13 mil spacer. And it's, it should be like an 8 or so at the front. So you can see that it's not that aggressive. So I, I want to go for the more aggressive look. So yeah, let's hope we get good results from today's experiment. Those wheel arches are very, very wide, so I mean, I think they can accommodate a very aggressive offset. However, I think my stock offset is about 42, 45. I mean, these are stock um, RS4 B7 rims, so it should be around 42. The reason why I'm not sure is I tried to read it off the back of the rim. I will show you just now. I could not really make out what was written there for some very odd reason. So now I'm just going to have to work with estimating and uh, basically trial and error. Oh yes, so these are the wheel spaces. This is what a hub-centric wheel spacer looks like. It's got the, the hub center. Yeah, so this is the 5 by 112 for Audi and most VWs, I believe. So it comes with um, the longer studs. Uh, well, I already have longer studs, but hey, it won't kill to use new longer studs. So yeah, pretty much this is what is in the set. And if anyone's wondering, I got, actually got this at Midas. Um, so yeah, shout out to Midas and Silverton. They had these. So hopefully very soon I go get the second set and I know the sky is complete. I still need to change my tires. I know um, these are very wide for the back. So I'm going to have to get a lower profile. But anyway, that's a story for another day. Let's enjoy the video.
so happy that I, I did this because I just discovered something very, very disturbing. So I'm, I'm gonna show you. See, people just exploded or what, but there's like a ton of grease. Just look at all that. Back to the video. Um, this is the wall spacer that I was using for the front. So, um, I'm going to give you a side by side comparison just now. I wanted to show you that uh, this is what I meant when I said I could not see my ET. Oh, but I think I see it now. I think it's ET48. Sheesh. Yep, it's a eight point it's an eight point five J by nineteen E T forty eight. So it's way in there. So yeah, it's I think we're justified to put a fifteen mil spacer at the front. Um however side by side comparison. This is the new spacer, this is the old spacer, so this should be interesting, very interesting. Now I'm excited and curious, although there's that issue, but for now I think we can continue with what we intended to do to begin with, so, right. I'd have to go lower profile tires, which I'm planning to do in the very near future, so that should not be an issue at all. But yeah, I like it. Um, you guys saw from the video how the fitment is. Um, I'm still trying to decide because the thing is. At the back uh, with the with the fat tires it looks like the fitment is just there if I push it anymore with the 20 mil I might bring it out which might cause rubbing issues because I, I normally load stuff with my car sometimes so but at the front the perfect is just 
the, the I mean the fitment is just perfect. So now if I go ten mil at the front it's it's just gonna bring it in a little bit more. Cause at the front I'm happy with the fifteen. Unless of course maybe if I can drive around maybe with the one side yes, maybe I can drive around with the one side try to see if maybe I can get some rubbing if I don't then which might mean that I can push a 20 at the back but the other thing that concerns me is I'm gonna have to go a little bit of a stretchy boy on the tires to to account for that 20 which I did not want to do um, I was planning on running two 35s 35s all around and because it's an 8j rim no it's 8.5j i'm sorry so now currently i have two two fives at the front the one time i tried to fit the two two five at the back it just looked too too small so i, I kind of wanted to get something in between because at the back right now i have a two five five thirty five which is way too big so I wanted the 235, but I might need to just settle for the 225 with the 20 mil space at the back, 15 at the front. But yeah, it, it's been a successful video. Um, in the next video, we'll definitely need to address the CV boot that exploded. I don't know how and why, but I think I've been feeling... I've been feeling the car has been running a little bit rough, you know, for some odd reason. So I think maybe it's the CV boot. So hopefully it's an easy fix. It's not a costly fix. And then definitely in the next video, we'll definitely sort it out. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. If you like my videos, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what you liked about the video. Um, if there's anything uh, that maybe I, I did not do right, that I did not say right, uh, if there's anything that you want to correct me on, please leave a comment. And if anyone has a solution to the CV boot <coughs> explosion, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.